Hello, hello, and welcome to another stream of Deathmark. Starting a little bit later than usual. Had a little bit of a delay. But it's usually around about this time. I try not to be too on the dot at the moment with the way things are currently. It all feels like it's a little bit up in the air. Nevertheless, there's also an awful lot of things lurking around in the air. One of them being ghosts, spooks, and the supernatural. I'm just going to give it a little bit of time until some people creep in to be able to... Hello there, Synchro. Very nice to see you there. Let's see who's currently lurking and watching and awaiting. I see one VIP, thank you very, very much. That would be you. <laughs> I'm going to give it a few minutes until uh, anyone else comes in because I have a Discord set up with a bot in it that notifies people, hey, just to let you know that Spook Suit is streaming, usually when that kicks in. Then people sort of wake up and sit up and go, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm absolutely flattered, but at the same time, I'm so sorry that your day has not been better. You are a wonderful person, and you deserve an awful lot more happiness in your day there, Synchro. So if people are not running around giving you the best day that you can be having, well then, I'll try my best to make sure that it can at least be a nice finisher for you. I also have a delicious cup of tea, and as a fellow Brit, I'm pretty sure that you'll be appreciating the fact that a nice cup of tea does wonders. And there is absolutely no harm in that whatsoever in waiting. The funny thing is, is that the notifications when they say that people have joined in the stream are coming up on my stream, obviously, but I'm not seeing them on the TV. Yes, I am doing the same as you. I am streaming purely from my... well, I'm streaming purely from my television, the difference being that mine is coming through my PS4. Tonight we are going to be finishing up with defeating the sad, sad story of the bride that does not want people to look. Hello, hello, one and all. Just waiting to see who else is able to uh, show up. Sometimes the stream chat can be very funny as to who's here and who is not. After all, at the moment it says that I am here and it says that Synchro is here, but I don't know who else is here. I think that's because some people come to watch it over on mobile. And because of that, well... Crater, oh my goodness, hello. Hello, hello everyone, anyone and everyone, thank you so, so much. Crater, I wanted to say as well, thank you so much for all of the donation subs that you have given me. Thank you. It is a raid. This is the first time I've ever had a raid. Thank you so, so much. I will be sure to save this video afterwards. Hello, anyone and everyone. Uh, my name is Spooksuit. Thank you for sticking with the raid and for joining my stream. Uh, I'm going to be playing spooky games. It, oh my goodness, uh, J3-1G, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, my chat went ballistic on you. They went ballistic? What happened? What did you do? What What have I done? Oh my goodness, thank you. Um, th th thank you, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much for the donations. Um, I suppose I'm just going to go straight into it then, I guess. Uh, Today we'll be dealing with 
Oh my goodness, there's a hype train. I don't know what a hype train is. I don't know what's going on. I... I... They're crazy people. I... I... Crazy people are good. Crazy people are welcome. I love crazy people here. I love wonderful people from here. I... I think that... Wonderful people are always appreciated here. And the, the most important thing that I want to say to anyone and every one of you is thank you so, so much. If, if any of you are trying for affiliation, if any of you are trying your best, please do me a favor, share all of your links to your own Twitters. Uh, make sure that you follow each other, share, promote, support each other, because these are some really, really weird times we're going through at the moment. These are some, like, dark times, and these are times when you could let everything get on top of you. Don't do it. Look at this as like, this is the 1980s. This is the chance when every little person can be their own little startup company. We can do what we want. We've got the control to be able to be our own independents. As long as we can support each other, share the love out there, share the support out there, share the kindness out there and prove to people that it does exist. You know, please follow each everyone, follow me, follow... Oh my goodness! J31G, um, thank you, thank you so, so much for the bits, thank you, I, I don't even know how much that is, I don't even know what's going on, yeah, S uh, Shadow Strife's link has been shared in the stream, please, please, please be sure to, like, follow them as well, um, that being said, I have, um, I've been talking and I've been stammering and I've been, I've been doing so well with my nice, steady, slow ASMR streams and uh, all of a sudden everyone comes in, so, here's, hoping you all can um, at least appreciate the stream and with that being said I'm gonna continue so time for some spookiness with spook suit <laughs> uh, believe me I, I I do appreciate it it may not sound like I do but I, I really do honestly I really do it means the world to me um, I'm just a little bit overwhelmed with it all to be honest I just I don't I I Thank you. You know, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to make a little note on my bit of paper over here because I'm, I'm really old school. I'm like those old school puzzle games you read and everything. I have pieces of paper and everything and I'm just I'm just going to put a little note down here to to um, to to make sure the Amoeba Art Storm at a later time uh, yeah, here we go. Um, to make sure that she gives the credit and the thanks to any and every one of you with artworks and the sharing and the, well not maybe not artwork but I'll be promoting her and I'm I'm just gonna make my little note and say thank you very much um, yeah no worries thank you so much Nez uh, thank you uh, so okay um, now that you've all done a very very successful job of rattling me and making me completely and utterly out of my usual comfort zone of being Mr. Spooky Scary Ambiance Man, let's uh, <clears throat> let's get back into what I do best, which is dealing with taking on the ghosts and the supernatural with an anime flair to it. And please remember guys to share and support and promote and follow each other. Uh, so at this point my partner was Christy. Christy... okay. Oh don't worry, this, is, uh, this isn't too much of a puzzle based game. This is more of a kind of supernatural based... Uh, I, I guess the closest thing I can put to it is a visual novel in a way. No, oh, music is a bit loud. Uh, no worries then. I will. I will skip through this one second, and then I will change the audio back one moment. Uh, let me just go to the system. Okay, I'll put it to forty-three there. Fifty for the effects and the atmosphere. Likewise, 50. Can everyone hear me now? Can I, can I just ask, can everyone hear me now? Because I know people were saying that the, the game is a bit loud. Can everyone hear me? Does that sound okay to you? Thank you so much, Synchro. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without the people that have supported me. It means so much to me. It really does. 
But yes, the, the, the other reason, yeah, the other reason why I've been a bit quiet is because I, uh, I live with family members and unfortunately they're one of the main reasons why I'm streaming and hoping that I can make a lot more progress in doing better in my life. I've just reached a point where I'm like, I need to think about me instead of thinking about other people. But I'm sure everyone sounds like that. I'm sure everyone has these wonderful, wonderful, in inverted commas, moment with people. So this is me. Let's have some fun and let's get back to the spookings. So, because I skipped past before because people were saying that the music was too loud, let's try this one. I tell Mary about Seiko Hasegawa. What a sad woman. Her grudge against the world turned her, turned her into Hanayome. If this is indeed the case, you may find a clue in the forest where she committed suicide. Okay, then. Uh, straight to the forest out from Kujo Mansion. This is more awkward than I thought. Being out alone with someone who, until recently, was planning to kill herself. Do you have something you want to say? She noticed right away. Was I being that obvious? No. Not really. It's fine. You don't have to hide it. You're wondering if I still want to kill myself, aren't you? Is this a woman's intuition? No. Maybe I'm just crap at hiding things. Don't worry. I don't anymore. People hate it when things are forced upon them, right? It doesn't matter what it is. Hmm. I can trust you, right? Yes. At least for now. Here's hoping she keeps feeling the same. At least while we're together. Just then the tires hit a bump in the road. I can see a square, grey object in the back seat through the rearview mirror. Hmm? Is that thing back there yours? No. That's Ata's CD radio cassette player. CD radio cassette player? That's a pretty chunky thing to be carrying around with you. Huh? Why something like that? He said we might need music during drive, then went and put it in here himself. But we don't have any CDs or tapes. Should I turn on the radio? No. I'll pass. Ooh, the radio. The conversation grinds to a halt after that. It's like there's an invisible person between us. Given this game, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. After falling silent a while, Christy finally speaks up again. Why, Crater? You like jazz? Oh, don't worry, Cracker. If anything, this should just help you out. After falling silent a while, Christy finally speaks up again. It only makes sense for the conversation to turn one direction. Never been a fan of that band. I'm sorry. I'm... It's rather worrisome, don't you think? After all this time, they don't know. Who doesn't know what? Those two. They think that spirit just helps you find things. What a naive fairy tale. Yeah. Christy is exactly right. You quickly become disillusioned once you actually face a spirit. But thinking about it, wouldn't that be best? Christy looks at me in shock. Wait, what are you saying? I just mean, our lives are on the line here. Would you stop joking around? Sorry. She's furious at me. But it looks like she was telling the truth about not wanting to die. She's got too much pride. 
someone like that would never commit suicide. I do just want to say, by the way, it's a very important thing, is that the topic of suicide, it came up a lot in the previous weekend's playthrough when I was going up against the ghost of Shimio, and I just want to say, it's never the option. Always try and do your best to make sure that you reach out to someone, always do the best to make sure that you talk to someone, always do something other than that. There are people out there that are trained to help you, there is support out there for you, you are not alone. Okay? I'm sorry, it's just that with it being such a serious so subject, I just want to address it because it is a very, very gloomy and serious subject. Hey there, Jonas. Thank you for swinging past. Glad to see you, and I hope your streams have been doing well, too. What's so funny? Nothing. Will we make it back again? I stare at the headlights and contemplate where we're going. Oh, Shadow of the Colossus, the PS2 original? Nice. <sighs> that sigh was pretty deep. I can't believe we're here again. At least I can feel better knowing he's not around anymore. I almost remind her about Hanayomi, but I stop myself from opening my mouth. I don't want to break her tenuous calm. Okay. It's supposed to be west of the gate. I look to the west of the gate again. No worries, Jonas. You take care. Pass on all my best to Chile. But there's no sign of a trail. Strange. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. When I came here researching an article, there was a path to the west. Huh? Suddenly, Christie's face stiffens. What's wrong? I... I feel cold all of a sudden. Huh? I follow their gaze and see a low shadow dashing out from the darkness. Oh no, I know what this is. This is a ghost. Hanayomi was a ghost of a bride that was kidnapped and assaulted. As they were taking her away, her beloved pet dog was unfortunately run over by the criminals. And I think that man's best friend is trying its best to protect its owner even after its life's been snuffed out. A dog? It certainly seems like one. It kicks up the dirt with four legs. But it looks... off somehow. Its fur is long and disheveled. And from certain angles... its face looks... human. The dog stares at us, growling softly. What is it? Are you trying to tell us something? You're being too gentle with it. You need to sound firm when you talk to a dog. Act like it's master. Weaker dogs like to bark, right? So ignore it and stay quiet. So ignore it and stay quiet, huh? I guess that's true for humans too. Powerful people tend to ignore others. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. The dog barks loudly, and then vanishes into the western underbrush. The moment it's gone, the chill in the air dissipates, like it was never there. Was it trying to guide us? Maybe. <laughs> I guess it's a guide dog.
I shine the flashlight on the spot where the dog disappeared. A now familiar pain shoots through my wrist. The mark's color grows more vivid. Early dawn. A few hours left until death closes in. There's probably not much time left. We'd better hurry. Just keeping a notebook so I can keep an eye on my maths. On my maps. Let's check the bushes over there. New info was added to the spirit file. Investigating the forest again. It reads, Welcome to the lush and romantic wood timberland. As I said before, it reads murder. Let's check, there's nothing else here. I think everything's gone because of Shimio. Okay. There's a thicket of trees next to the gate. No worries, Amoeba. Thank you so much for popping by. Uh, you should be surprised to know that uh, Crater and his raid are also here. He did. Well, they did. I, sorry, I do I do apologize. I didn't mean to sound like I was assuming anything there. They. They broke him. That's the one. Everyone broke me. I'm just... I'm broken. I am broken and in pieces, and now, literally, we are in the middle of a spook stream because my spirit is the one that is now playing the game. Go figure. With the dog gone, I push my way into the underbrush. I spot the traces of what used to be a path. You could barely call it one at this point. This must be the closed hiking trail. The path goes west from the gate. Oh, that's right. I remember now. This is the path I took before. That dog... Was it trying to show this to us? Who knows? Anyway, let's get going. Okay, so we got a new area to explore. Moved forward. Ooh. Ooh. There's something in the grass at the front of the front of the tree. I push the grass aside and pick it up. Found a worn out talisman. Yes, more spirit power to me. When I pick out the worn out talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Got soul power. Nice. The worn-out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. Okay, so now we're up to a pretty decent amount to be able to take on anything. Okay. The one thing I'll say is that as someone who has actually done supernatural investigations, it really does do a good job of catching the atmosphere and how these things would be. Whoa. I can see the obvious, but I'm just gonna have a quick look around to see if there's anything else out there. Oh. Something's in the grass. I feel around in the blade of grass. Got instant camera? I've hit the switch before I realized, and a red light appears. Apparently that means that the flash can be used. It must still have battery left. Not that we're going to take any pictures with it. You're right. I turn it off and quickly stuff it in my bag. I decide it's wise not to mention the dried blood that's stuck to the bottom of it. To see is to perceive light. A distant voice echoes in my head. True. Seeing something means you're seeing the light it's reflecting. But what does that have to do with Hanayomi? 
New info was added to the spirit file around the tree covered in photos. Well, hold on one second, I want to check this file because that's that's Hanayomi. Okay. Rumors of Hanayomi. With the end of the 90s, online infrastructure has advanced to the, the popularity of a certain widely used BBS. Hanayomi is an urban legend that sprung up from the BBS. It goes as follows. Certain telephone booths in each city will let you talk to ghosts. If you go inside one and wait, the phone will suddenly ring. Pick it up and you'll hear a strange lip-smacking noise. A woman will ask, have you seen it? Rumors say you're supposed to reply with, I haven't seen it. She'll respond with, what do you want to see? Someone actually followed the instructions and was able to find a missing pet. What a strange tale. A lot of people are interested in this ghost, wanting to find things or people who have become lost. But not a single one has ever mentioned getting a mark from her. But the circumstances seem to imply this spirit gave the mark to Ata and Suzu. Plus, why is the spirit called a bride? If she appears as a bride, then someone must have seen her. The first phone box. Three phone boxes in each city let you speak with a ghost. One seems to be the one Ata and Suzu used. It shouldn't take long to reach the other two by car. I'm concerned about the statue stolen from each shrine, too. If Hanayomi really can tell us where they are, that would save us a lot of time. There's only one way to find out. The second phone box. In the booth, booth is a poster looking for info on a crime that happened nearby. The phone rings while I'm distracted. Just like the rumors when I pick up a woman answers smacking her lips. But I can't get info on the statues from her. For some reason, she's behaving different from what we were told to expect. There's one more telephone booth. We better check that out, too. The third phone box. Hanayomi's acting even more strangely than before. She seems anxious about being seen. Or eyes in general. It's impossible to be sure since it's only over the phone. Plus the note we found outside the booth is disconcerting. To Seiko, I'll dispel all of your heartache. So forget that horrible incident and take your quiet rest up in heaven. Gathering info at the mansion. The garage shelves contain files on accidents and crimes within H City from decades old, just to a few years ago. We all search through them and find a case with a victim named Seiko Hasegawa, the person mentioned in the note. The details of her case are sickening. About the assault of a woman in H City. The victim was abducted by a group as she was walking her dog in the fo forest while awakening while awaiting her wedding day. She was found by a phone booth along the highway the next day. But that's not all. The culprits photographed the assault and blackmailed her fiancé with the photos for money. A few days later, all of the stress caused her to kill herself. Her fiancé went missing afterward, with people believing he also committed suicide. Christie investigated the case back then. She says the fiancé was a famous musician. To Seiko, I'll dispel all of your heartache. Those words bother me. But there's something else, too. And that's the fact that the culprits also went missing after she died. This ghastly case is still unable to gain full closure. The phone box that guided us to the case. The fact that the woman who hung herself wore a wedding dress. The connections to the forest by H. Castle. The other mark bearers won't like it, but we need to go back to the forest. But why am I so sure of that? Upon our return to the forest, a strange dog appears. It growls at us before disappearing into the western thicket. Christy says the place she checked in the past was in the west also. Still, that dog didn't look natural. I suppose that's a good sign, since we're chasing after a spirit. But the mark warns that time is short. We have to hurry. Around the tree coat in photos. Here we go. In the bushes below the tree, I find a dirty instant camera. The back reads, Take a picture, flash included. That voice then whispers to me again, to see is to perceive light. Light. The things that emit light. The camera. I bet Seiko Hasegawa detested that light. Okay. Instant camera. A camera with dried blood on the bottom. There's film in it and the battery for the flash still has a charge, so it can be used to take photos. If they come out, it's questionable. Okay. I shine the light on the grove of trees in front of us and catch a glimpse of something odd. Huh? 
What is that? Something's posted there? I can't make it out from here. I move forward for a closer look. What is this? All thoughts in my mind ceases. It's as if I'm unable to process what I'm seeing and my brain comes to a halt. Are these photos? There are a bunch of pictures of different people posted to the tree. But they're all... All these photos... have nails in the eyes? It's just as Christy said. Yeah, she doesn't like to be seen, this ghost. For some bizarre reason, each photo has a person with nails driven through both eyes. Attached to the nails is some kind of tape. Cold sweat drips down my back. What kind of crutch would cause someone to do something like this? Hey. All the people in these pictures, are they all men? Christie's mutters are just loud enough to hear. Huh? I look over the photos again. A good number of them are deteriorated so they're hard to make out, but they may be right. Yeah, looks like it. All the subjects are men. That's clearly not a coincidence. I feel a little dizzy and step back. Through my blurry vision, something flashes in the light from the flashlight. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... over there. Something sparkled up there. Something might be there. We should check it out. Oh, there it is. Something up in the branches of the tree is reflecting light. Something must be stuck in the branches. The only way we'll be able to check it out is to climb up the trunk. Are you thinking about climbing the tree? There aren't any cavities, knots, or branches within reach. It'll be hard to climb up it. So... Boost my partner up. Um, this is just between us, but... I wait... She whispers in my ear. Okay, that's off the table. Try asking my partner. I refuse. There's no way I can climb that. Looks like that's not going to work. I give up and back away. Okay, I guess the game is basically holding my hand at this point. I'm going to have to go back to... the mansion and get Suzu. Return to Kujo Mansion and swap my partner, so... Don't worry, Suzu, we'll get this. To tell you the truth, as soon as I get s as soon as I get this collar, I'm gonna end up I believe we're supposed to look to the west of the gate. Yep. This isn't the right way. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I turned back. I went to the left. It's a, sometimes I get myself do, confused because I look at the map in the top left hand corner and I'm moving in the direction of the icon but sometimes that's not right, so... Something up in the branches of the trees reflecting light. Something must be stuck in the branches. The only way we'll be able to check it out is to climb up the trunk. You're going to climb the tree. There aren't any cavities, knots, or branches within reach. It'll be hard to climb up it. So, 
Who's my partner? There we go. I wouldn't like to try this with Ata. I if that's all, then... Okay. I'll try. I squat at the base of the tree and let her climb upon me. Up, oh, you... Go. I stagger a bit, but manage to stand. I feel like I'm one of the trees now. Can you reach? Just a little to the right. I I'm almost there. <gasps> Suzu reaches as far as she can with her hand and I lose my balance. We both crash to the ground. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I'm here. Suzu shows me her hands. It's holding the object that was stuck in the branches. Got dog collar? A collar? Makes me think of that dog we saw before coming here. Does this belong to that dog? I wonder who threw it away. Who knows? As I'm putting it away in my bag, I spot an inscription on the inside of the collar. Enter. Genta? 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 How are you supposed to pronounce that? New info was added to the spirit file of the pictures on the tree. Okay, back we go. And before I progress any further, small, overly spiritual child goes home. Sorry, I should explain that, by the way, if she has the highest spirit energy out of everyone we've met so far, but she's also the youngest, and I'm like, I'd... You know, I don't want to psychologically scar the small child that's, um... You know, able to see ghosts and spirits even more than I can. The middle-aged news reporter, however, tried to kill herself earlier while I got mine psychologically scarring her. I mean, you know, she's... The power of Sun Sun, as uh, Amoeba Artstone calls her. left again. Whoops. I just realized this is a different camera view for the uh, junction. That's pretty nice. Okay, down to the left and continue down this old path. I hear a low growl from somewhere. I can't see what's making it, but it seems to be watching me. Oh, we did see that dog at the gate. I'm not sure why, but I feel an intense hostility directed towards me. I know why. It's because of the fact that I'm male, and so far we've seen that all of the targets of the ghost's grudge have been male. It happened earlier on at the school. Um, Hanahiko didn't like adults, and I was you know, a grown man. So... Wh what do we do? Something's coming. The instant Christy speaks. The growling grows distinctly quieter. I remember the photos. All of them were men with nails in their eyes. I don't know what that has to do with the dog, but if those pictures demonstrate the hatred that saturates this place, if I'm with Christy, it might react differently. I consider my options. Okay. I've got an idea. I take the collar out of my bag. Maybe. It's a safe bet that the spirit was born here, so the dog is likely tied to this collar. I face the general area the barking is coming from, and show it the collar. Yep, that did it. The dog appears like a gust of wind. Whoa! Before I can blink, it steals the collar from me. Oh boy. 
Christy said to stay still. But I try to quickly jump away, I hear Christy call out to me. No, Yashiki. Just ignore it. But I don't catch the rest of it. The dog rushes at me. So fast it looks like it's gliding over the ground. Someone who owns dogs, boy, this is the... I'm not going to move at all. Stay where I am. That's why I think I stay still confidently ignore it. The dog stops in its tracks. It seems confused that I'm not reacting, just standing still. It shuffles back on its guard, then prepares to attack again. Stage one completed of the evening. It bears its teeth and growls. There's only one that classes as ignoring it. Uh, turn my back to it. I break my gaze and turn my back to it. I pretend to not hear it threatening me. It growls for a while until it abruptly stops. That ghost is grim. The dog holds the collar in its mouth and stares at me. That collar has an inscription on it, doesn't it? I'm sure it said. Well, yeah, I can. I know that, but how do I pronounce it? Did I get it right first time? What should I call it? going with Genta because that sounds Japanese and also Gintama and this is all on Emmy if it goes wrong so Genta I muttered the name the dog perks its ears I say it again this time more clearly then what? I'm safe, yeah, but th then what? The dog turns around and quietly slinks into the brush. It disappears from sight. Seems I somehow managed to escape death. I pick up the collar that was left behind and sigh deeply. Yeah, you and me both. Video game me and me. Are you alright? Yeah. That was, uh... I can't even say it was no big deal. My words tr simply trail off. That's all I can answer with. I pat myself down with my hands, but I don't seem to be injured anywhere. I did feel teeth biting into my hand when the collar was snatched from me, though. That dog may be supernatural. I hate to break the immersion, but what was your first fucking clue, mate? What was your first clue? The face? Maybe that looks like a human? You know, I, I sincerely don't think that that is Nina Tucker come back from the grave. That is something else. I hope it doesn't attack again. I'd like to think it won't. It found what it was looking for, it seems. So we'll be fine, right? You're right. Let's have a quick look around, because we haven't had a chance to explore this area yet. I keep hearing those bees and it keeps making me jumpy because I keep thinking of Shimeo. We were here for so long, there was a point where I got stuck and I had to go and do a... Oh! No, I don't like that. Oh, hi, yeah, that is, um... <sighs> the sound like a rope creaks above my head. That's a big yikes. Synchro, I'm going to say exactly what it looks like, and it's exactly what it is. It's a bunch of 
mannequins just hanging from their necks in the trees in this haunted forest. Yeah. The thing that actually terrifies me is when we were talking to Mary earlier, she was saying about how certain um, humanoid shaped things can take on special powers and special abilities and such, which is why potentially Mary herself can talk, because she's just a doll. So if we've got all of these mannequins hanging around in a haunted forest, it's like a factory of creating these damn things. If they do anything at all. Hey, back on track. Uh, sorry, I got a bit jarred there. This is like Yami Bakura's greatest fantasy. Oh, what's that? It appears to be a forest full of ghosts and dolls and ghost dolls and doll ghosts. Absolutely marvelous. Your cowardice comes as no surprise, but let me remind you that the Battle City Finals begin soon and you're running out of time. That's a note from me, Chief. Huh? Silhouettes swing in the shadow of the trees. My whole body shudders with dread. No. It can't be. Corpses? Christy gives a terrified yelp. Speechless, I shine my flashlight on them. Oh, oh, it got worse. There's nails in the eyes. They clearly aren't people. They're mannequins. The things hanging by their necks from the trees are display mannequins you can find in any department store. Why, why always nail synchro? It's because of the whole blinding them so that they can't see. I think it's more of Hanayomi's handiwork. I hope everyone else is in the chat's okay. Like I said, we do do the, the spookies and stuff over here. Obviously, dolls can't commit suicide. You know, given the way the story's going, I wouldn't be surprised if they could. Is this someone's idea of a prank? Or maybe a warning to intruders? The only one who knows the truth would be whoever did this. Let's go. I don't think they're dangerous. They're only mannequins. Oh, famous last words. R right. Yes, I know. Christy replies uneasily. But before either of us take a step forward, I feel a shaky hand gripping onto me. I'm really hoping it's Christy. see a lot of explanation, exclamation points. I'm hoping they're just to examine the... A doll is mercilessly hanging by its neck. Right, I've learnt from the last time I had to do all that running around with the Shimio mission. I'm going to look and I'm going to... feel. It has something in its left hand. Grabbing onto it to stop it from swaying, I open the hand and take what's inside. Found a worn out talisman. Nice. When I pick up the worn-out talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Got soul power. The worn-out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. I always wonder what these things look like. The dolls swing unceasingly from their ropes, even though there is no breeze. That makes it worse. A male doll is hanging from a tree. I wonder what the person who did this was thinking. 
Well, I don't think it was hello there, everyone. Behold my trippy arts and crafts projects. J31G, thank you so, so much. Um, it, how do I, uh... How do I pronounce that? How do I say that? How's, how, how, how do I, uh, how, what, what's the easiest way for me to say that name? Um, thank you. Big. Big, big, yeah, big. Definitely lots of, with the big and the, the, the tips and the everything. Big, okay, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um... Yeah, big does seem it. Uh, I just want to say thank you so, so much for the donation. Um, it will very, very much appreciated. Uh, okay, uh, back to the back to the spooking, and now I'm great. Now I'm now I'm now I'm emotionally happy, and and spooked. And you know what? This is just me. There it is again. This is the. I hope I, this, this is one thing I really hope. It's like I, I make sure I, I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to distract from the, from the ambiance and everything. I want it to be like I'm in. I'm playing a scary game and everyone's coming with me because, like I said, I used to do ghost hunts and I used to do ghost explorations. So I get spooked, and you know, syn synchro will tell you the amount of times I've literally just sworn at jump scares. But I don't like. To be one of those people, it's completely. I'm going to. I'm going to break the immersion because some people will really be into the story, and some people will be wanting to be scared, and some people will be will be wanting to be spooked, and that's kind of the ambience that I'm doing. So, uh, you know, hope, hopefully that comes across clear, and it doesn't seem like I'm just, you know, being being lazy. You know, like I said, you know, I just I love atmospheres and I love the ghost stories. I've seen too many streamers that talk all over the spooky stuff, and it's it's just. It, it, it's not how I would like to do things. I want to. I want to get people spooked and scared because that just makes me so happy to be a part of that. That face is creepy as anything. It's that dog from before. We know it's Genta. It's first name basis now. It starts digging in the dirt right in front of us. Huh? After a few moments disappears like mist. It was moving oddly. I wonder if something is buried over there. Let's take a look. Flashlight time. Okay, there's absolutely nothing shining anywhere else. Just in case there's anything that's going to jump up and suddenly be like all... Oh, by the way, confrontation. And this is the end, so... Well, this is the dead end here, so... It's the place where the dog was digging. Upon closer inspection, the dirt there appears to be a different colour. Feel for... Because we've only got the instant camera, there's nothing else. I reach out and touch the dirt but the texture under my hand surprises me. Huh? The dirt around here is soft, almost as if something was buried. Give me a hand. What? You're going to dig up the dirt? Well, I can't dig down the dirt. I don't think we'll need any tools. Please. I guess I don't have a choice. Ugh. This'll be hell on my nails. Listen, son, son, you... Listen, Christy, son, you are involved in this as the rest of us are, so... Come on. Lend a hand. In silence, we kneel in this forest in the middle of the dirt night and dig up the dirt with our hands. I feel like I'm robbing a grave. It could be that those words popped into my head because I somehow knew what we'd find. Distracted. I looked down on what we dug up. What we find is a corpse. It's just a skeleton now, but it doesn't look that old. 
Yeah, if it was in a shallow grave, unfortunately, it would be pretty clean. Th that's why I didn't want to do this. Digging up the dirt like that. Yeah. My reply sounds incredibly flat and uncaring, even to me. At some point, death has become familiar. That fact, and not the corpse, is what sends a shiver down my spine. I'm too comfortable with the world of the dead. I know this, but I can't escape it. One part of me observes the remains before us and reacts calmly. Just then I notice something. What's that? There's something white in the skeleton's hand. I dig it out and discover it's a plastic bag. Inside are a number of cassette tapes and some kind of note. The note's deteriorated, but part of it's illegible. I killed them all. Once. Assault you. It wasn't Hanayomi. I thought Hanayomi was the one that was killing all of these creatures, all of these people. Now you rest in peace. I. what needed to be done. Now I die here. This forest, you passed away. New song, want, listen, heaven. The note ends there. This case is so sad. I expected horror and I expected ghosts. I didn't expect sadness with it got three cassette tapes. From the contents, that's a suicide note. I can understand that part, but... She looks at the cassette tapes. What are these tapes about? They look at the remains as if asking them the question. Of course, it's not going to reply. I don't kn I trail off. A different voice is whispering in my mind. Hey there, are you? Nice to see you here as well. Hello and welcome. The last. The voice falls silent. The last? Wait a second, the last what? What's wrong? I haven't said anything, you know. It's nothing. Sorry. Just talking to myself. Anyway, let's take these tapes with us. New info was added to the spirit file and identified su suicide victim. Alright, let's just check these. Oh, we've still got the dog collar. I guess it must have been left behind. Tape Charm Song. An old cassette tape found buried with a corpse in the forest. It had been wrapped in a plastic bag so it's in good shape and should be playable. The words Charm Song can be read on the smudged label. An old cassette tape found buried with a corpse in the forest. It has been wrapped in a plastic sheet plastic bag so it's in good plastic sheet was the first mission. So it's in good shape and should be playable. The words Echo Ballad can be read on the smudged label. An old cassette tape found buried with a corpse in the forest. It had been wrapped in a plastic bag, so it's in good shape and should be playable. The words my can be read on the smudge label. You know, I don't want to sound like uh, a, an old guy here and everything, even though I am. But first of all, number one, it still amazes me how much he looks like me still. And how much his fashion is like me. And two, the fact that, you know, cassette tapes are really, really good for long storage for things like this. Time to turn around and head back. I forgot the angle changes. That got worse. The mark burns scarlet. Half an hour left until death closes in. 
out of nowhere, my mark flares up painfully. The intel's pulsing, setting my nerves on fire. Shit. Are we out of time? I bite my lip and look at Christy. Christy. Christy, hey, can you hear me? Y yes. I... I think I can. Your voice is... distant. It's finally here. It all starts now. I grab Christy and run. The spirit is closing in on us. Wait, I thought we'd be into a boss fight. Did I get in the car to go somewhere? Regardless, I'm here inside it, gripping the wheel. The mansion. I need to go back there for now. I glance through the rearview mirror at Christy in the back seat. Christy is staring vacantly out the window with a slightly tilted head. The only thing out there is darkness. There's nothing to look at. Ada's tape player is laying on its side in the passenger seat. I grabbed it from the back, meaning to play one of those tapes. We quickly arrive at Cujo Mansion. Even if I discuss it with Mary, it's probably best to listen to a tape first. I reach for one. But as I do, I notice something odd. Where are we? I'm on an unfamiliar road. Like I took a wrong turn somewhere. No. It's not unfamiliar. I've clearly been down this road before. But the route I was taking should have had no way for me to come across this road. That's the only way I could describe it. It's impossible. <laughs> Calm down. I must have made a mistake because I was messing around with the tape player. I wouldn't get lost on the way to the mansion. I've been to it so many times now. I just missed the first intersection and ended up somewhere strange, that's all. That's what I tell myself when I make a U-turn. But no matter how many times I go back... Damn it! Why am I here again? No matter how I turn, I end up on the same road. Right, left, or keep going straight, I still return to the exact same place. This is ridiculous. I hit the steering wheel. Maybe it was because of my outburst, but my mark starts burning with pain again. This is bad. Really bad. At this rate, Death will cut catch up to us while we're here in the car. Having said that, we can't go back to the mansion. I don't think we'll be able to get out of this maze no matter how many times I try. In that case, what should I do? Where should I drive? The apartments was the last one that we went to where she said, what did you see? It was the one with Ata. It's when I first, um, broke the rules. To the highway. She was found wandering near the highway. The last one. The voice said the last one. You're right. That matches up to everything. I turned the steering wheel in the direction of the place that popped into my head. T-Mountain. 
It's not that I have to go there. The destination isn't important so long as it gets me out of this situation. I hit the gas pedal and abruptly turn the wheel, trying to get out of this cursed trap. Finally. Familiar scenery returns, as if it was laying in wait for me. This one, the one that I was saying would be terrifying if you were in that phone box and people were outside looking in. In the end, we're back here. The phone is ringing. The thing is, I don't know if I've done everything right. I mean, I've still got the camera, but I don't know if I've done the right thing for... Making sure she doesn't kill us. I've pretty much been led down the path. I know exactly who's calling. Oh boy. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. Sunrise. A few minutes left until death closes in. to the phone booth. I've got Ata's radio cassette player, and the bag holding Seiko's memories at the ready. I pick up the receiver, but the phone immediately goes dead. Wait, what? I tumble out of the booth. Okay. Okay, at least I'm in a more fair playing field now instead of being trapped in a box. Once out, I spot out of the corner of my eye. The spirit standing there. Looking down at me. She is tall. His battery is dead. What should I do next? Last one, going following the logic of do the last one. I stick my into the tape player. Press the play button. First time I've ever had a live or die situation for this. Okay, Echo Ballad. Let's see if it is the one that she was long about. I stick Echo Ballad into the tape player and press the play button. I love. The spirit responds to the song. So she's heard this one. The 
spirit quietly drifts closer. What should I do next? Charm song, play that one now. So I've got the full set and then I'll know which one to grab. Stick charm song into the tape player and press the play button. heard all of these songs. The spirit responds to the song. The only one she hasn't heard is the one that he wrote before he committed suicide. Uh, uh, what the hell? Oh god, the eyes are goofy as anything but that mouth. The eyes and everything are in it. The spirit is right in front of me. to the newest that was that was my my yeah I stick mine into the tape player and press the play button Was bounding over from somewhere, barking happily. Again, is this where you've been? Come on, let's go. He's waiting. There's a flash of light. I blink and the spirit is gone. Can I get a thumbs up in the chat because we also purified her instead of killing her? I don't sense Hanayome anymore. It looks like we made it through. Christy is back to normal. <laughs> I bet their mark's gone. But mine still bright on my arm. I guess Hanayomi didn't give me my mark after all. Well, I hate to say this uh, game version of me, but we already knew that one from Mary. Yeah, you can. Th there's two ways, like, to get two different endings. One is that you accidentally, you, well, you deliberately destroy the spirit, but their vengeance will still linger on, and they'll usually kill your partner. Um, but if you can purify them and put them to rest, then that means that, you know, they'll move on and everyone will be freed from the spirit. Uh, in the first case, there was a ghost called Hanahiko, where by um, giving it red lipstick and showing its reflection in the mirror and making it happy, um, it faded away happy. Whereas if we'd done what Synchro had wanted to do, which was sticking a flare in its face to the burn it and destroy it, it would have killed it, but then we would have lost our partner. Um, what I will be doing is I'll be trying to figure out, like, there, there are five ghosts, this is the third one. When it comes to the fifth ghost, I'm going to actually look up how to kill them, because I want to get the normal ending, and then I want to do the good ending, because apparently the good ending will lead into a sixth case. And so far I've been very, very lucky in that, like, by following my own instincts, I've been able to just purify the ghosts instead. If Hanayome was really the ghost of Seiko Hasegawa, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This place isn't too far from where Seiko died. Maybe that's why. The instant Hanayome vanished, I thought I caught a glimpse of her loyal dog. I hope her dog and the song her fiancé wrote for her help her to be at peace in heaven. Shall we head out soon? Yeah. Huh? The phone starts ringing out of nowhere. It won't stop. 
It's like it's waiting for someone to answer. What should I do? I'm doing it. Hello? Um... On the other end of the line is the gentle voice of a woman. I'm so very sorry for causing you so much trouble. Please excuse me. Was that a wrong number or something? No. I think that was Seiko finally getting the chance to say she was sorry for what she had done. I was a little panicked, but now I relax. I step out of the booth and get into the car with Christy. Cujo Mansion. Welcome back. My mark's all gone thanks to you, right? Too bad I didn't get to do much. Believe me, you did enough, my dude. You did enough. And I still want your t-shirt. I've read a ton of comics about exorcism, so I thought I could help. I'll let them know what happened. You go report everything to Mary. Don't mind if I do it. Mary's adorable. I awaited your return, Lord Yashiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations. Though it is unfortunate that your mark has not yet vanished. I've managed to defeat three spirits now, but my mark still hasn't disappeared. It feels like that terrible fact might just freeze the blood in my veins. But I vowed to fight against the mark. All I can do now is press forward. Hey, mister? Ata and I were looking through the other files in the garage. We found this. Suzu hands me a file that says Eight Shrine Findings on the cover. Sayakujo's signature is in the corner. The Kujo family's guardians were housed there, so it makes sense that this was here. Oh, interesting. Well, let's read it right now. Most of it is about how H Shrine was built in its history. It lines up with what Mary told us. Everything that happened from the anti-Buddhist movement to now is in here. But it looks like even Saya didn't know who stole the statues 50 years ago. Oh yes, Saya Kujo, the woman whose mansion this is. Some pages are about Go Shrine, about eight shrines Go Shintai the item that houses the deity's spirit. This shrine has two, a mirror and a small Buddha statue called Nejibutsu. The Nejibutsu should be in a brocade pouch, but I never saw anything like that at the shrine. I wonder where it ended up. The last few pages contain notes on an investigation into the stolen statues. It mentions a rumour that started circulating a few months ago. K. Miyamnachi North Road in H City. It's a back street that, due to the city's poor planning, is covered in manholes. Because of that, people call it Manhole Road. On a moonless night, a young woman was walking down it on her way home from work. 
An old sign read, Be wary of strangers. Suddenly fearful, she attempted to hurry her steps down that dimly lit back street. But she couldn't take a step forward. A noise. Something heavy being dragged. And then a figure was discernible from out of the darkness. It was a woman with disheveled hair wearing a burnt white robe. Don't tell me this isn't on a Yumi. She cradled a headless Buddha statue as if it were her own child. The shadows and hair hid most of the face, but she could see her blood-red lips twisted into a satisfied smile. Blood-red lips? That's, that's like, give me some of that red stuff from Hanaiko. Terrified by the eerie sight, she turned on her heel and ran away. Some distance away, she turned to look back. But the woman was gone. The statues were stolen 50 years ago, so it wasn't that woman, but I doubt it's that easy to find headless Buddha statues. I'm sure she must know something. I asked Hanayomi where the statues stolen from H Shrine were, and now there's an unexpected lead. <laughs> what a strange coincidence. If you can find those stolen statues and honor them at H Shrine, the Divine Wrath will be quelled, and you might be freed from the mark. Another way that might possibly allow me to escape my mark. It's worth looking into, at least. Oh, right. You can have this, too. It's some info on Miss Seiko's case we found after you left earlier. Please read them if you want. It is almost dawn. We must end today's investigation. Please rest. Thank you very much, mister. Because of you, I think I'll get to go see my dad too. You need to go somewhere to see him? My mom and dad got divorced. Oh. Yeah. Mom decided that she wanted to become a nun. She started taking me to temples and a lot of sacred areas. That might sound a little bit odd over in most Western civilizations, but in Japan that would be like becoming a Miko, a shrine maiden. Very, very respectable thing to become, and very, very sought after in Japanese term cultures and such. So I can kind of understand it. I'm not saying it's good, I'm just saying that with the, uh, with the respect and the beliefs and such. Besides, given how many ghosts are running around killing people and putting marks on people and such, maybe it's a good thing that there'd be more Mikos running around. Dad didn't like that, and he started seeing some other lady. I... I understand. You don't have to say more. I guess Suzu's been embroiled in the world for adults for of adults for a while already. Maybe that's why she's so brave while being so young. I asked Mom to tell me where Dad is, but she wouldn't say. She told me he's bewitched by a demon and to forget him. So that's why I wanted to ask Hanayomi where Dad is. I I see. I hope you get to see him. Me too. Okay. Good night. I'm really in your debt. It's thanks to you that Suzu was saved. Thanks so much. He seems more worried about her than himself. <laughs> Yeah, 
His appearance, personality, and job all make him suspicious. But that one thing is clear. I know she asked me to, but I was the one who brought her out there after all. So if something had happened to her, I... I just... <laughs> hey, hey, are, are you alright? I'm so glad she's okay. <laughs> the hot tears streaming down his face are those of relief, apparently. You should head to bed for today. I'm sure you're tired, right? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Good night. <sighs> I'm heading to bed soon myself. My mark's finally gone. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. Well, there's no reason for you to stay any longer. You're right about that. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Oh no, first Mashita and now Christy? Do we just not get to keep any partners sticking around? Well, yeah, we've got one. We've got Mary. Doi. Sorry, but even nine lives wouldn't be enough to survive staying here. Thanks. Christy. No, 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 just, just say what you really feel. You said it. But I'm grateful for all this, too. It gave me time to rethink my life. Ironic, isn't it? If I hadn't been cursed by a spirit, I'd be in that forest right about now. Christy's smile turns wry. Well, I'm off to bed now. Good night. Now then, Lord Yashiki, please find me when you are ready. Farewell. New info was added to the spirit file, the truth behind Hana Yome Other. Uh, yeah, I'll just quickly double check those files. Pictures on the tree. On the west side of the forest we find a tree covered in strange photos of men. They all have large nails driven deep into their eyes. They're likely all dead. Is it some kind of warning that men will be killed? I spot something when I look up into the tree. It's hard to get down, but it turns out to be a dog collar. Does it belong to the dog we saw at the entrance? That article in Seiko we found in the garage said the body of her pet dog was found in the forest. Was it killed chasing after the culprits? It seems she even brought it on her trip to Greece with her fiancé right before she was abducted. It looks like the dog's name is on the collar, but how do you pronounce that? We know it to be Genta. It doesn't look like English. In the bushes below the tree, I find a dirty instant camera. The back reads, take a picture, flash included. That voice then whispers to me again, to see is to perceive light. Light. Things that emit light. The camera. I bet Seiko Hasegawa detested that light. We find a skeleton buried in the ground with a worn suicide note and cassette tapes. Strangely enough, the contents of the note match up with the rumours of Fiancé's death and what was in the Isle of the Note. This is just a guess, but if I'm right, the songs on these tapes probably contain his thoughts and feelings. If the corpse is her fiancé, then the tapes may have songs he made or ones that are meaningful to them. That's right, I forgot that her boyfriend that her sorry that her fiancé was a singer. So then what was the whisper of the last trying to tell me? Did he want his fiance to hear the last song? The dog that guided us is definitely the ruined form of their beloved pet. If I can manage to connect all this together when I face Hanayome... It might have all started with the lingering grudge caused by that tragic event. Hanayome was likely Seiko Hasegawa. She became a spirit obsessed with eyes, in imitation of her fiance's revenge. I do apologize, one moment, just getting a quick drink of some nondescript juice. 
I'm doing a lot of talking. Mm, ah, some wonderful unnamed brand uh, type of beverage that is absolutely mm, delicious. That their dog turned into that thing in an effort to save them. The info I got from a fellow mark bearer points to that as well. So I don't think she was just Seiko Hasegawa, I think part of her was the perception warped by her fiancé's uh, desire for revenge. Unbranded drink, mmm, delicious, my most, my most favourite non-named brand. Look straight into the camera, gives a thumbs up like an 80s TV commercial. Dun 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 Her fiancé was a musician, known as YMN back then. He made a name for himself by cross-mixing jo mixing genres into his music, from rock and pop to classical and techno. Around the time of the incident, he had been working on a new album. The last song in it was My Ho- My Holy, and dedicated to his fiancé. But in the end, the album was published without that final track. Yeah, but you see, Synchro, I'm, I'm also an affiliate, and I've got to be careful when it comes to brand names so it doesn't seem like I'm marketing, so it's just completely unknown brand name. The song, and her fiancé's love, finally reached Seiko. I'd like to think it's because of us and Genta. I hope their tragic tale has finally come to a close. But some things still don't add up. How did Hanayomi suddenly get the power to bespecto the mark? The answer might lie within the Buddha statue stolen from H Shrine. Here we go. The files in the garage mention the Buddha statues were cut, stolen from H Shrine 50 years ago, right during the period of chaos following the end of the war. Is there a connection? What's more, a year-old interview says someone witnessed a woman in white carrying a headless Buddha statue on the street called Manhole Road. Maybe I should look into that next. Yeah, we're back in the beginning for them. I will save the game here. Don't worry, I'm not ending it just yet. I want to continue for a little bit longer. Yes, unfortunately, you guys suddenly now get the nice bright blaring blue of the uh, PS4 discretion screen. So let's talk to Mary. You know what? I might as well. It's a little bit... Sh the chapter was a little bit short than what I'm used to, so I'm going for a little bit more. Are you retiring to bed? Yeah, I'm going to rest. Good night. Chapter 3, Hanayome, End. Yeah, it felt it because it didn't feel like it was going to be a boss fight, so... It felt more like it was going to be a, um... I like... Th the thing that I like about that boss fight is that in the previous ones we've had to combine things to make it more of a fight, but... The game made it so it seemed like we didn't really want to fight her. But I'm still baffled as to how I could have gotten that wrong, because at some point, clearly, Christy, Suzu, Ata even, we would have been, you know, they would have been killed somehow. Because of the anger of her grudge, so instead we placated her. And I'm just trying to think, I'm actually... Do it wrong by looking at her, maybe. Maybe, maybe this is something that we could have done. Maybe it was in the beginning of the fight that we could have done something wrong, but, yeah. Because any other way I think might have killed her. Well, it might have killed us, remember, that's the thing. Yeah, we can do it wrong, but if we do it wrong, how wrong is too wrong? Okay, let's at least meet the new people and see who we're going to be dealing with. It's been three days since Hanayome. All of the other mark bearers left the mansion. I'm the only one here now. I wonder when I'll be free of this mark. When can I leave this place? There's not even a scrap of meaningful information around. 
I looked around Sayakujo's bedroom to try and find something Mary mentioned. Yeah, unfortunately this was the room where we first met Sayakujo. On the floor with a bunch of plants blooming out of her chest cavity. It's impolite to rum rummage through a woman's things, but I don't have the luxury to not do it. I searched every inch of the room, even under the carpet, but I came up empty. Seeing the dried blood on the floor reminds me of that horrifying sight I saw. There we go. I don't want to die like that. That sole reason has been my driving force in my struggle to survive since that day. But how long can I keep this up? That thought fills me with such dread that it feels like my legs could give out. After searching everywhere I can, I leave the bedroom. The deserted entrance hall feels colder than usual. Thinking on it, it's already been over a week since I first came here. That's it, that makes sense. It was about three days between Shimio and Hanayome. It's been another three days, so yeah, about that. Because I can't remember how many days it was between Hanahiko and um, Shimio, so. I've gotten completely used to this strange mansion. It's not really something I want to admit. How do you do, Lord Yashiki? Mary gives me her usual greeting in her monotone voice. She's still a complete mystery. Though I can't say I'm not grateful to have someone to talk to now that everyone's gone. Did you locate the Master Key? No. I didn't. I see. I was sure that it would be there. I've searched every accessible inch of the mansion and found no info of value. All that's left is the locked room. I'm trying to find the Kujo Mansion Master Key so I can open it. Mary said she thought it might be inside Kujo's bedroom, but it clearly was a bust. It is obvious I should have spoken with Lady Sayamo before she died. I deeply apologize. Her voice carries a hint of sadness. She almost seems human when she does that. Looking more closely at her, I'm struck all over again by just how strange she is. I haven't really thought about it lately since I've been struggling to survive, but how did she come into existence? Hey, Mary? Were you made by Sayakujo? No, I have served the Kujo family since before Lady Saya was born. I was already here at the mansion when I opened my eyes the first time. They say tools used for many years can come to house deities or souls. Yeah, that's been the theme throughout this. I may be something similar. So you're like a Kujo guardian deity? That is an exaggeration. Though I would be very pleased if I could achieve st such a status. Lady Saya's fate was most unfortunate. I will do my utmost to respect her wish to save all who bear the mark. Her clear, green eyes stare at me. I thought they were blue. Lord Yashiki, thanks to you, many mark bearers have been saved. I am sure that Lady Saya would be extremely grateful to you. I very much feel the same way. Her voice is emotionless but it sounds just a bit softer than usual. Her face can't show it, but it feels like she's trying to express her gratitude. I guess carrying her out to that shrine really did help.
Now, Lord Yashiki, it seems a new mark bearer has made their way to the mansion. I hope you can find some clue as to the spirit that gave you your mark. Before she can even finish her sentence, there's a knock at the front door. Hello. A girl bounces in, wearing a fancy outfit. I blink dumbfoundedly at her appearance. She looks like an idol. Nice to meet you. Good morning. It's like one o'clock in the morning. It's the middle of the night. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm used to saying it as a greeting. Um, so Dr. Kujo lives here, right? Madam Yasuko told me to come. Is Dr. Sire around? There hasn't been a class trial yet, kid. Don't worry. Madam Yasuko. Yep. No clue who that is. Sorry, but Saya Kujo isn't here. I'm Kazuo Yashiki. I guess you can say I'm representing her right now. Are you here about the scar? I can help. Yeah, yeah, that's it, exactly. It's actually called The Mark, right? If you get it, your memories become a mess and you die soon after. That's what Madame Yasuko said. You get the mark and you die, huh? Is this, uh... You don't explode. I, I hate to tell you this, kid, but unfortunately the blood in this game is red, not, like, neon pink. Well, color me surprised. I didn't think anyone besides Sayakujo knew about the mark. But this girl... She knows what'll happen to her. But for some reason, she doesn't look depressed at all. Aren't you scared? Yeah, I'm terrified! But being a scaredy cat's embarrassing. I want to hurry and fix this whole mark thing for my fans, too. Did I call it right? Are you an idol? I'm a pro, and forgetting the lyrics up on stage is a definite no-go. Oh my god, I think I did. I think I know what line of work she's in. She's... Are you an idol or something? Yeah, that's right! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Ai Kashiwagi. I sing, dance, and perform as a member of Love and Hero. Your name is Ai. You're a musical idol and your name is Ai. Thank goodness your first name isn't Kizunoa. Oh no, Ata loved... Ata loved love and hero. Thank goodness you are here and you never crossed paths with the guy that has had the nicest t-shirt I have seen in this game. But Synchro, we never see it coming. Oh, so that's your stage costume? Yeah, cool, right? I will never calm down, Persona is serious business, and I would love to do that on a playthrough at some point when I can afford it. I headed here straight after filming finished. If I'd gone to my dressing room, my manager would have found me. The taxi driver stared at my outfit the whole way here. Giggling. She removes her jacket and bares her shoulder. You know, like, I know, I know with the whole thing with the virus stuff is that we can't shake hands, but... Randomly just bearing shoulders. Oh. Oh, okay. A familiar mark glares brightly from her skin. Does it say that it's hello, everybody? I'm stuck wearing sleeves right now because of this thing. Oh, didums, it really blends in with your outfit, but okay, you're stuck wearing sleeves. And it's gonna be summer soon, is it? I'm playing this at really the right time, because soon, yeah, it will be at least spring. It seems as though this person is indeed a mark-bearer. 
What? Who's there? Hai's eyes bug out comically wide when she hears a female voice out of nowhere. She may know about the mark, but it doesn't like she knows about Mary. Mary updates Ai about everything so far. She starts with Sayakujo's tragic death and recounts our encounters with the spirits. Ai seems surprised to hear that Kujo is dead, but she does admirably well in her attempt to swallow this string of unusual events. Now, Lady Ai, do you have any idea as to where you received your mark? Hmm, probably... When we filmed at the mystery spots... Are you kidding me? Spots as in plural? I don't think I had this scar until we, after we finished up filming. I feel like I should ask her for more details about this mystery spot tour. Where'd you go? We went around to three mystery spots that are rumored to be haunted. One was an old tunnel in O City. Another was a railroad crossing in T City where a lot of accidents happened. Okay, I don't know if it's intentional, but the O tunnel, the, the O tunnel itself is a reference to the common haunted tunnels that appear a lot in Japan. Um, but T City's railroad crossing. That's a reference to a very famous haunting over in America. There's a, there's a railroad crossing where a school bus full of kids um, stalled on the tracks. And unfortunately a train was coming and it plowed into the side of the bus and it killed all of the children that's on board. Um, ever since then... People have driven their cars and they can turn off the engine before they get to the crossing, leave the car with the handbrake off, and the car will roll over the crossing as though the children's spirits are trying to make sure that nobody else crashes in the same way that they did. There's been a lot of um, disputes about it, but the thing is, is that you can actually put like talcum powder over the back of your car and when you have coasted over it, you will see little, like, hints of handprints all over the car that has cleared the crossing. It's quite a common haunting. I can't remember which one it is, but there is a... That's based on an actual event. Yeah, that's, that's actually based on a genuine ghost story that happened. It was so popular and it's so well known that in the Japanese movie, I believe it's actually called Ghost Train. It's got some sort of different name in Japan, but there's a Japanese ghost story. It was done by the same director, I'm trying to remember this properly, the same director who did the um, Whispering Corridors series, or the Wishing Stairs. Uh, the Wishing Stairs was uh, part of the Whis Whispering Corridors franchise. The Whispering Corridors franchise has a lot of um, lesbian subtext within it, and that director did the same for Ghost Story. And at one point you see a bully that becomes a friend. Um, and there's like, a, you know, they, they save each other kind of thing. And it's, like, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's called Ghost Train. It's something like quite generic like that. But... That's based, because there's a scene in the movie where they say it's based on real events. That's the real event that it's based on, this haunting. The last was a back street in H-City. Sure enough, H-City was one of the places. What should I ask next? What kind of show was it? A summer ghost story special. During the shoot, our guest star, Madame Yasuko, and I got this weirdly shaped scar. The minute she saw it, Madame Yasuko told me it was called a mark. So I wasn't the only one to get one. This Yasuko also got the mark. Is this person not coming here then? Oh, I guess I forgot to say. 
Madame Yasuko is on her way too. She'll just be a little late. She's stopping by her shop in Giza before heading over. I nearly said Ginza, but not Giza. What should I ask next? When did you notice it? Hmm... We were rushing everywhere because we were pressed for time that day. It just was suddenly there. Well, that's not much help. I think that's all I'll get from her. Now you mentioned a street in H City, but where exactly was it? Oh, um... Ah, just a sec. I digs her cell phone out of her bag and flips it open. A flip phone? Dang. I'm pretty sure it was in an email my manager sent me. Oh, there it is. Uh... It was K. Miyamachi North Road. It was a pretty weird place. A ton of manholes were all over. K. Miyamachi North Road. The file in the garage said a woman holding a Buddha statue was seen there. Is it just a coincidence? Or... Hey, you're kind of frowning. Is something wrong? Oh, no, it's just... It seems we have determined where you must go tonight. Please head directly to K. Miyamachi North Road, Lord Yashiki. There may be a spirit trace there. That's not the only thing I might find. There may be a clue about who stole the Buddha statues from H Shrine too. And of course, I'll come with. Our group has a song that goes like this. I'm not the one to sit around and wait. I'll blast through those evil traps standing in my way with all my might. Um... Okay. Sounds like Love and Hero specializes in the motivational type of song. Anyway, she seems willing enough, so I'll let her help. Okay, let's see what her stats are like then. Oh, spirit power is the same as mine. Power is stronger than mine. In Intelligence is less. Well, you can't have it all. On that note, as we will be going into a new haunting and we'll be dealing with a new situation, we finished up the um, Hanayomi mission. And we managed to deal with the finally putting the spirit of her to rest. I am going to save the game and bring the stream to an end for tonight. The next time I will stream, we will be dealing with whatever this spirit is, because remember, this spirit has yet to introduce itself. Uh, that will be next Saturday and next Sunday, that I always stream Deathmark. I always try to make sure that it is a weekend stream. Uh, very, very good for relaxing and just chilling out and nothing too combat-based, really. Um, that being said... I just want to thank absolutely anyone and everyone that has come to my stream. Thank you so, so much for tonight. It has been a very, very rough week that I, I took some time off for myself, for my own personal reasons, and for some of the things that were going on. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have been trying to like make my Yakuza Zero streams. Uh, again, those are just for relaxing reasons as well. But I just couldn't really handle it this week and to have two solid days with two solid streams um, it's just made me feel like I'm I'm doing okay you know I'm I'm doing all right uh, I'm not wasting my time basically um, yeah it's just it's it's been it's been really an experience um, I just want to thank all of you. I want to thank everyone. If if you have streams and you are trying for affiliation, please share all of your links in the chat now. Follow each other, message each other. Uh, Synchro is tr Synchro's trying for affiliations, so if you follow him and you swing by his chats as well, um, please make sure to support him as well. Um, just thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, 
there's not really much more I can say, and I'm 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 going to stop babbling. If I uh, yeah, thank you so much, Cracker. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you to Crater. Thank you to Big. Uh, thank you to everyone else. Everyone else whose names like unfortunately on my end I can't see the the viewer list isn't showing up on my end, which is a uh, which is a shame. It's not loading up. I keep clicking on users in chat and it's not showing me, but thank you. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so very much. Um, I will be trying my best to, you know, make sure that I can continue to give good streams for all of you. And I will try my best to support all of you as well as you have supported me. Um, if you ever want to check out, down below there should be a link to my uh, Redbubble where you can get some nifty looking merchandise, the spook suit sticker Amoeba got and she put it on the back of her notebook and I was just floored like by how good it looks. So if you guys want to at least, even if you just want to at least check it out, please do because I just like people sort of checking out the artwork and seeing these things and that means a lot to me as well. Um, Alright, I'm going to end the stream now guys. Thank you all really so much for coming by. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The next stream will be for the next Deathmark stream. If you want to, if you want to specialize with just the Deathmark streams, that will be always on the Saturday and the Sunday. We are we have just defeated the third ghost. There'll be two more normal ghosts to deal with, and then one special case. Which, so for the next three weekends, I will also be trying to get a copy of NG, which is. Uh, a game that's very much the same kind of game, it's the same kind of concept, it's like a spiritual successor, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, if you also want to come by on the Tuesdays and the Thursdays, I'll be doing Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Kiwakami once I get Yakuza 0 completed. And until then, guys, thank you so much. Please take care of each other, take care of yourselves, support each other, because we're the only ones that can do it right now. We, we, we stand side by side with each other, and we're going to raise each other up as high as we can go. The sky's the limit and everything. See you all guys and you all take care of yourself.